Out of the Ten Commandments, nine of them are repeated in the New Testament. The only one that isn't is keep holy the Sabbath. Right here, you just saw Frank Turek say that the Sabbath commandment is the only one not repeated in the New Testament. However, I am here to disagree with that. Here we see it repeated in Hebrews chapter 4, and it's connected with righteousness by faith, the idea that we cannot save ourselves. Now we absolutely must point out how Revelation 14 verses 6 and 7 quotes directly from the Sabbath commandment, Exodus 20 verse 11, and calls it part of the everlasting gospel. So any person who says that the Sabbath is not repeated in the New Testament, that's actually a false gospel. Or in fact, Paul even says in Colossians chapter 2, don't let anyone tell you have to obey any Sabbath or festival day. Now right there he uses Colossians 2 to try and justify why he believes the Sabbath was abolished. But what does Colossians 2 actually say? It says that what was blotted out was the handwriting of ordinances that was against us. Now as always, we have to let the Bible explain itself. Deuteronomy 31.26 is describing the book of Moses, what we commonly call the Law of Moses, also commonly referred to as the Ceremonial Law. Notice two things about this. It said that this book of Moses was put in the side of the ark, and that it was what was a witness against us. Here in Hebrews chapter 9, it contrasts and says that the Ten Commandments, the tables of the covenant, those two tables of stone, was put inside of the ark. One signifies temporary. Galatians 3.19 says the ceremonial law was added because of sin. Here, Hebrews 9 shows the eternality of the Ten Commandments. They were placed inside of the ark. And actually, if you study the whole sanctuary pattern in Exodus, and especially in Ezekiel, um, you see that the Ark of the Covenant is a symbol of God's throne. Here, Exodus 25 says that the law, the Ten Commandments specifically, was placed inside the Ark. Here we see it again in 1 Kings 8, verse 9. So here in Hebrews chapter 9, verses 9 and 10, the Bible is telling us that it was these ordinances that was imposed until the time of Reformation. That's why Colossians 2 said that they were nailed to the cross. It was not the Ten Commandments. It was not the weekly Sabbath that was nailed to the cross. It was the ceremonial law. Those were two completely different things. The weekly Sabbath is as eternal as God himself.